Now, I just wanted to show you this really quick trick on how you can take blocks of text and wrap them within a shape to, to define an overall graphic element. For instance, here I have this bottle that I want to create and actually put text inside of. Uh, just, but I just want to use the shape of the bottle. I don't want to actually use the image of the bottle itself. So I'm going to go in here into the uh, toolbar and just grab the magic wand tool and click and select the background. Just click on that overall white background and then go to select and choose inverse. Now the bottle itself is selected, but we want to, again, just use the shape. So I'm going to go in the paths panel here. And if you don't have it open, go into the window menu and open up paths right here. And in the Paths panel, go into the Flyout menu and choose Make Work Path. And this is going to convert that active selection into a path here. So go ahead and uh, leave that at uh, 1.0 and then click OK. Now you can see that shape has appeared in the Paths panel based on that active selection. If I go into the uh, image and just click on it, there you can see there is the shape. So that shape, I'm going to go ahead and bring it on over to my working document. Just hold down the Shift key and drag it on over, and there is that path in my document. So I'm actually going to scale it up a little bit. Just use free transform and scale it a uh, fair amount right about there. And what I want to do is actually, like I said, put text inside of this shape. So I'm going to go and grab the text tool itself. And when you move the cursor in, a, uh, in the canvas area, you'll notice there is the cursor and it's uh, prepared to go ahead and create a text layer. If I move it over the path of this shape, you'll see that there's a little curved line through it. That is letting you know that you're about to put text on the path, meaning we could put text directly on this path and have it follow the contours. If you move the cursor inside, you'll notice it gets a little dotted circle around it. This indicates that you're going to put text inside of this shape, and, this, and the text will only stay contained inside of this particular shape. So if I click once, and I'm actually going to do uh, kind of a binary code effect, so I'm just going to do a bunch of ones and zeros here. Let's just do like this. And I'll just create quite a few of them. Just do it like that. Notice how it's filling the lines in. Now if I go ahead and just drag and select those that are already there and do a copy. So I'm just going to press Command or Control C. And let's just zoom out here. So I've cre uh, copied a big element of those uh, ones and zeros there. I'm just going to press Command V over and over. And you'll see it keeps adding and adding and filling that text element in there, ultimately until it fills up the entire bottle. And this will ultimately result in that text, or in this case, that kind of binary code, to create the form of that bottle. And you can see how this could be an interesting design element because you can add text in here, you can add uh, just different um, code elements like we have in this particular example. A whole bunch of different options you can do about it. And you can format the text, the text, did I say text? Format the text um, just the way you would any other text. So I wanted to um, decrease the letting and just hold down the option key and hit the up arrow a couple times. I'll decrease the spacing between the lines. And I can just go down here and just paste a couple more elements in there to help fill it back in. You can change the boldness of, you can actually go and select one character, or let's actually just select one character and we'll make it a three and then actually change its color perhaps. And you can actually have these kind of fun elements that you add and just change things up a little bit just to make them a little bit different and add different design elements to them. But that's really just all I wanted to show you is how you can take advantage of vector shapes and text and contain them inside of a specific shape that ultimately defines a design element or something like that. In fact, you can have some fun with it. Here is a good example. Actually, I forgot to show you. There's my there's my text. We'll call it binary soda on this one. But you can also have uh, some fun with it with things like this. We've got absolute binary. So I, what I did was I took a picture of an absolute vodka bottle and just created a path shape out of it and ultimately turned it into this kind of binary shape element in that familiar bottle shape that we all know from the absolute vodka ads. So, you know, it's again, just thinking a little bit differently about text. And one of the, and one of the things I'm kind of trying to uh, get across in a couple of the lessons in this course is to look at text a little bit differently. Look at it as a design element and see how you can turn it into something that you may not have thought of before.